Ron Collins. And I'm Anne Marie Roberts. Today, in honor of Black History Month, we have a very special guest for you. That's right, she's a professor of urban studies and the best selling author of The Venus Fly Trap House A Downward Spiral in Crime. Please, ladies and gentlemen, Kathy Sinclair! Love the hair girlfriend. <laughs> All right, thanks for being here, Kathy. Let's just jump right into hot topics, shall we? Your book on crime culture is number one right now. That's right. So I think it's fair to say that we're sitting here with an expert. That's right. <laughs> Kathy, let's talk about all the crime that's happening in our society. Even some happening in our very own communities. Yes, and definitely in yours. The first story that we have today is about a guy who killed his mother over an allowance of $200. Ugh, these thugs are out of control. These teens from the low-income communities, they're, they're prone to violence. Uh, actually, this guy was pretty wealthy. White men. Dwight S. Whiteman, to be exact. Oh, oh, Dwight Whiteman. Oh, okay. Dwight Whiteman. All right. Yeah, no, he just snapped one day. I mean, it's so sad. Mental health is not taken seriously enough in this culture. You know, I was just talking to myself about that very same thing yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, there was a riot. It was in a parking lot. Nine people were arrested, 13 were hospitalized, and five were bludgeoned to death. Now, this is a problem. That's right, and it was all over a football jersey that was the wrong color. Ugh, Ugh. these people are animals. Single mothers, low income, the Jordans, all right? It's all just a recipe for senseless violence. And this particular incident took place on a college campus, uh, uh, Ohio State University. Ugh. Yeah, so no gang violence, just a bunch of sports fanatics beating each other to death senselessly over a football game. Oh, oh that's OSU. <laughs> See, I heard it and I was like, urban, but uh, they probably just had one too many beers. And how many beers would it take for someone to bludgeon someone? Would it be like two past blackout? I'm, <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. Wait, wait, wait. You said that <laughs> you thought urban when you heard the crime. Let's unpack that. Do you mean like, what, what street? Do you mean colored? Do you mean black? Oh, um, oh all right. African American. Oh, right. We don't really have to bring <laughs> race into this. I'm sure Kathy just means that people commit crimes for a, a whole host of reasons. Isn't that right? That's right, yes. And also, black people do carry the senseless violence gene. Oh. You know, that's why there's no white on white crime. All right, and that is our Black Snap History Snapple Fact. That's your wiggity whack black fact. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Chicago. Uh, this weekend, this weekend in Chicago, a lone gunman uh, shot seven people, killed seven people, injured four, and then took himself out. I mean, this is crazy. And I believe his name is uh, Rashid Wallace. What was his reason, Doc? Hmm? Was he born to kill two? Maybe his poor single mother ate bullets for breakfast, so he was packing heat in utero. Maybe his first words were bang, bang, kill a gang. Like, like, no, like, like what do we mean? I don't think we need to overthink this. Okay. I mean, he lives in Chicago. Mm -hmm. His name is Rashid. Right. Okay. We know why he's violent. Why? Because he was born black? No, because he was born Muslim. Okay. Assalamu right, alaikum, everyone. I can't do this anymore. This <laughs> is ridiculous. So I'm not going to sit here anymore. This is ridiculous. You don't even know what you're talking wait, about. Wait, what are you I didn't even read your book in the first place. Right, I don't have time for this. This is a big fan move over here. This is a I can tell you stop booking these people on the show. And your book is done. And I hate your sweater. Okay. How about that? All right. You're wearing a black sweater right now. Okay. You're wearing a black sweater, an African American sweater. She is a little, a little turned up. We'll turn to up. I am so sorry that she went all Whoopi Goldberg on you. Mm -hmm. Must be the hair. I don't know, baby daddy stuff. Please, mm -hmm. please come back and get for it. Get for Kathy, Thank you everybody. Very much. Let's hear it. High five. Ah, <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe he came out with guns and his yeah. first words were bang, bang, kill again. Mm -hmm. Like a we don't have to think that. We, we don't have, have to, to overthink this. Okay. We don't have to overthink this. <laughs>